Hey, head over there.
Hey, go check that out. Hey, looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. Got it. Hey. Defending Diamond City is nothing me, my boys, the wall, and a few turrets can't handle. outside the wall ain't safe. That's just how it is. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. 
Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper! Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Whatever. I'm not going to be here long. Uh, another see no evil type. You'll fit in just fine with all the inept guards. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that come through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates in the I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Mmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I wasn't lying. I got a whole supply train coming in tomorrow. Oh, of course you do. Now tell me the one about you and the fish that got away. Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. Just looking for something. Aren't we all? Now, was there anything particular you were looking for? My boy Sean's been kidnapped. He's just a baby. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. I'm sorry, but I can't. I got orders.
I'll ask somewhere else then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? Flips on Clyde and Shell. Huh. This place is all kinds of strange. I guess we are a little different. Most settlements in the Commonwealth don't have people yelling at the top of their lungs about the Institute. Anyway, don't let it get to you. Life here is still a hell of a lot safer than out there in the Commonwealth. What's the Institute? Ever heard of the Boogeyman? Shadowy monster that takes people in the night? Well, that's the Institute. But they're just a fact of life around here. Someone gets taken by the Institute or gets killed by a raider. Which is worse. At least inside these walls, you don't have to worry about the raider. So what brings you to the Great Green Jewel? Looking for someone who's gone missing. Gone missing? Who is it? Friend? Relative? My son was kidnapped. His name is Sean. Your boy's gone missing? That's terrible. I'm afraid missing people don't get found in Diamond City. God seems to have turned a blind eye to them. And with all the fear of the Institute in people's hearts, They've turned a blind eye as well. I'm lost, Pastor. I need help. Please. Well, I don't want to get your hopes up. But there is someone who might be able to help. Nick Valentine. He's a detective. Saved a lot of lives over the years. But so many more stay missing. And trouble has a habit of sticking to him. Nick Valentine, huh? What's his story? You know the story of the Good Samaritan? Helps a man, even though he has no reason to? Well, I suppose you could say that Nick Valentine is living that parable out. That really all you can do for me? I understand if you're upset. But trust me, Nick Valentine's never given up on helping people. That's saying a lot in the Commonwealth. you. Glad to see you stopped by the chapel. You holding up? Hey. Not sure which God I'm supposed to be praying to. Pastor says it doesn't matter. Excuse me. Most times. Just trying to keep it down.
Hey, Piper. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Lou? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing a blue jumpsuit right now, but the pip boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? I've been having too much fun blowing things up to think about it. Gotta make my job hard for me, huh? All right, if that's the quote, that's the quote. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Hi there. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Thanks, I guess. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister.
pull the wool out from under your eyes. Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of his. Her and her perfect hair. Secretary, come on, ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know her hair. That. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load, or you know. If you need anything proofread, read the paper, mister. Piper. Head my way. You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Sure, let's go. Will do. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. Officials and citizens, but it's home. 